this is the thing. He's just he's posting a document and he's not giving any context of what. And this is what this is why I get on the media ass for, bro. I sit back just like everybody else, and I'm just like, why doesn't anybody ask what is the document? What was signed? Okay, bro. This is the thing. The document that Boosie is posting is the restructured agreement. Okay. It was digitally signed by me. Okay. His name is signed places. My name is signed places where if you look under the, the actual signature that he's posting, it says authorized signer needs to sign there. Okay. For years, for years, man. Like people need to understand this is some internal like family shit. This is family business, bro. That has spilled over and Lucy is going about it the wrong way. This is how we've always done business. I've signed every every show that you've ever seen Boosie at that's posted posted on a flyer. Boosie did not sign the actual contract to that to that show. Every deal. Our business relationship is Boosie, here are the numbers. You cool with this? Here are the terms. All right, bam. Yeah, I need more. I need uh, that'll do. Okay, nah. Tell them they need to come back with a bigger bag. Uh, tell them the interview got to be. Man, I do the interview, but it is. Uh, it only got to be thirty. It's only gonna be thirty minutes. Put all those terms in and make sure all of that shit is in the contract. Tiki, bet. Get it drawn up, and once if if unless they're in person, I'm signing that digitally. Not, and but if I just want to just cover my ass, bro, I'm I founded this company with Boosie, shoulder to shoulder. I keep saying this shit. We were supposed to be like Slim and Baby, bro. Everything that I've done for with my career with Boosie was for us to for everybody to win. Never in a million years that I think that. Signed blue in sixteen in sixteen, renegotiated his contract in eighteen nineteen. I think it was early nineteen. That Boosie would be coming back years later, claiming that I forged his signature. Otherwise, I would I would have been like, nah, nigga, come, nigga, here, hit that button, nigga, go in your email right now and sign this shit. I this is family business where Boosie is going about it the wrong way, trying to get a bag. He's willing to nail me to the cross, and this shit this shit does hurt. Because this is family business. This is affecting our mom. This is affecting people that care about us, that knows both of us, and are proud of the work we we both done. It's affecting everybody. But he's going about it the wrong fucking way, and he's willing to nail me to the cross to get a bag. He's suing for ten million dollars. I should not be in a lawsuit, nigga. I'm on. Nigga, it should be us suing. If if we if anybody, it should be us suing. I am not the enemy. And you and I and everything that I've done, I've safeguarded it to where I can't get a substantial amount without him, and he can't get a substantial amount without me. So, but everything that I'm saying right now, I've only been able to try to text. I've only been able to try to, you know. And have people next to him tell him because cut off communication to sue. Feel me? And that's unfortunate, bro. So that's what it, that's I want to reconcile, and I just want to man. It's I ain't even tripped. You said what you said, but it's nothing to be like, like 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 he say, players fuck up, players fuck up, bro. You went with your move. It's still more money to get. It's still more money to get. You are you are icon. And I and and I'm always down to, to put in the work and and maintain the relationships and go and find new relationships. So he ain't got to do what he's doing. He going about it wrong, and bro, I just couldn't continue to sit back and allow Lucy to keep, continue to expand this digital footprint of salting my name down. Especially when I got so many other projects that I'm excited about. And if one of them motherfuckers don't go right, 
I don't want it in the back of my head that it's because of some shit that he lied about or he at least misled people about um, to be the case. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm protecting my peace by finally speaking and, you know, and, but the goal is for Boosie to stop and reconcile. Man, call me and let's figure this shit out. I ain't tripping. If you want this bread, you cannot be, you cannot claim what you claim because you draw, you, you create um, doubt with every deal I did the same way. And now you open up, you open up a loophole for people to, where business didn't go right, to come back and say, we were, you know, we thought that we were in, you know what I'm saying, bro. It's a dangerous game that he's playing and fuck it, I couldn't talk to him. So he, his motion is on the internet. So, hey, look, hey, look, yes, I got to finally go, go in front of the cam, mom. I apologize in advance. I'm no longer, I'm, I'm still a part of Blue's team, but this, this issue has caused a wedge between us because for for instance i'm blue is on his love scars tour right now i love touring i love touring I, i'm one of the people that i put such a high value on artists that i work with touring because i know that that's how you build a fan however me and blue made a, a mutual decision for me not to come out on tour because the way boosie is was Painting the picture was that we were um, co-conspirators to do this shit behind his back, and without without my side being out there, without nothing to to say different, it was gonna make it look like what Boosie was trying to uh, paint the picture that. So man, just fucking up my money with Blue. Like I'm no I'm no longer Blue's manager. That's my dog. I'm still a fan. And we probably gonna get back to it soon, but this shit is fucking up everything. This is fucking up a lot of relationships, man.